Вот это попадание нашего РСЗО. Вот он. Это вот посечено, это именно РСЗО пробило его. Вот наш. Угу. Вот попило, это наше ПВО отработало. Вот эта часть разбила. Соответственно, частично она сработала в воздухе. Где-то кассеты раскрылись, где-то не раскрылись, но они вот в таком виде. Ukraine is preparing to use Western-supplied F-16 fighters against Russia. This was stated by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in his evening video address on August 26. Today I started the day with a separate long conversation with the Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Oleksandr Syrsky, both on repelling this missile attack in detail, and on our response to Russia, we are preparing and on the use of F-16s, and on the operation in the Kursk region, we are continuing our actions in certain areas exactly as Ukraine needs. Over the past 24 hours, we have expanded our zone of control, there is another replenishment of the exchange fund. According to Zelensky, the situation on other fronts was also discussed, including the Pokrovsk direction, where the Russian army is slowly advancing and heavy fighting is underway. In addition, the Ukrainian leader reported on several important decisions to protect Ukraine's energy facilities from Russian strikes, but did not provide details. The F-16s will likely have two main roles, experts said, one defensive and one offensive. Air defense is really, really important, Peter Layton, former Royal Australian Air Force officer and associate fellow at RUSI, told. Looking at the big picture, the Ukrainian National Air Defense commanders might try to use the short-range guns, like the Jeopard, to kill the Shahids, use the F-16s to kill the cruise missiles, the older SAMs to kill the ballistic missiles, and the Patriots to kill the Kinsholes. In an offensive role, Leighton said F-16s could be used to replicate one of Russia's more successful military innovations used during the full-scale invasion, glide bombs. Glide bombs are standard airdropped bombs modified with fins and GPS guidance systems in order to be launched at a target from a distance rather directly overhead. They're far from a new technology, dating back to World War II, minus the GPS, and being used in conflicts including Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. As a result, Leighton says to expect Ukrainian forces to start deploying their own versions of the large glide bombs. Russian human rights activist Mark Figin informed residents of the Kursk region that they have a legal right to separate from the Russian Federation. There is such a project. Any Russian can vote for the separation of the Kursk region of part of its territory. We did not announce this because there really is no demand. People do not want to vote or get involved in this. People from Russia do not want to. Most are afraid and some people do not consider this interesting for themselves. I created the instrument and then it is an open question. Mark Feigen reported this in his interview for Alena Kurbanova on the YouTube channel. The Russian oppositionist was outraged by the passivity of Russians addressing them. I would appeal to the Russians living there. If you need it, and you are the ones who need it, I don't. I don't need it. It is you who need to live differently there, in Kursk. You need to live differently throughout Russia. If you don't need it, if you don't want it, then you don't need anything. Then Mark Feigen explained that it was time for Russians to take the initiative into their own hands, at least in the Kursk region. If you, people, are not showing any movement in this direction, and now there is already an opportunity, in the Kursk region there are still about a hundred thousand left. If you, 
residents of the Kursk region do not need this, then no one else does. It is fine with us. We will live in America, in Europe. You need this. It is not Ponomarev who needs this. Well, Ponomarev probably does, since he is talking about it. It is simply absurd to call for you to give me something. We can talk about this, but how do you give it? People need to want it. Then the Ukrainian leadership will say, we are not getting involved in this at all. You need it. You organize. Vote. Choose your government.